In a huge open world like Night City, you need a chill ride to get around fast. And in Cyberpunk 2077, there are tons of cool vehicles to choose from. Get this! Four-liter engine, six-cylinder, goes from zero to 103.2 seconds. You fucking believe that? We've crafted every car and motorbike with amazing attention to detail. On the chassis, the body, not to mention the interiors. You can expect everyone not only to look unique, but to deliver a unique driving experience. All right, show me what you got. Don't expect advanced tech or luxurious materials here. Nuh-uh. Yeah, it's not the size that counts, I guess. This class is mostly utility vehicles and low-end clunkers made for every pocket. Hold on, hold on. It's a wreck. Uh -huh. My damn wreck. Well, definitely no guy or girl, Mac. If you need to impress, look to this class alone. I'm putting my ride on the line. Either you match it in cash, or you can forget about the fight. With these wheels, no expense has been spared, no frill ignored. They're plush interiors decked out in all the latest tech, while you get to sit back and enjoy the ride. Masterful engineering and practical design. Trucks and tanks for when you need power and brute force. Hell of a machine. Meat beast, my pride and joy. And these monsters are literally unstoppable. These are for chooms who love the smell of exhaust and the roar of street wildlife. Their powerful engines and exchangeable parts make them perfect for two. Come on! I want to smell that choo-choo bird! Whether it's street racing, running from the NCPD, or just showing off in the streets, with these high-powered beasts, you will have only respect. Oh yeah, I like that! If you need speed and armor, the hypercar class is for you. It means precise bodywork, built-in LiDAR arrays, and really expensive materials. Imagine you're sitting on a pile of eddies. Probably less than a thousand people in the world can afford the Arendite. Not your typical urban vehicle. They will take you places you never dreamed you'd go. Oh, and original vehicles are not all you'll find in 2077. We also found room on our roster for some true automotive icons. Flo Welcome to the brief, authoritative history of Night City. This chapter is devoted to so-called styles, deeply linked with the history of the world and a very important aspect of life in the city. You can find them everywhere. In cars, clothes, guns, implants. They are your war paint. As one of our sponsors says, it matters not if you're dead as long as you're doing it in style. The moves on this girl! Swoosh, swoosh! Slicing them up like sashimi! Four visual styles are evident in the Night City of 2077, each with its own history, status, and features. Neon hair, illuminated tattoos, and chrome. Function comes second. Looks are what matter. And we got another day ahead of us in this city of dreams! The fourth corporate war broke out, and entropism was born. Vast and deep crises forced people to find ways to survive by any means. Getting the job done, no matter how, was the primary goal. The look? Who cares? I love this town! Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her! Fuck them! Fuck this job! 
Fuck this city! Deadly elegance without ostentation. Corporate militaristic fashion, mostly seen in the wealthier parts of town. Substance over style, that's the motto. Celebrities, brain dance stars, business magnates, heirs to corporate fortunes and corporate executives. They abandoned the cold, deadly elegance of neo-militarism and returned to the roots of kitsch, but gave it a fresh, new look. Oh shit, these hands. Sometimes it seems like I just brushed something and sparks fly. Thank you for your attention. We wish you a very pleasant stay in our marvelous metropolis. Good luck, and goodbye. NC's Legends! Know where you'll find most of them? The Graveyard. Luckily, matters not where you're from, matters not where you start. What matters here is the walk you walk. Smell. Travel. Yeah. Journey. Freedom. No, you know, it's not like <laughs> deeper, <laughs> deep. <laughs> I'm Gard Hollinger. I'm Keanu Reeves. And we're here as uh, representatives of Arch Motorcycle, and we're doing some audio recording for Cyberpunk 2077. Arch Motorcycle is a custom production motorcycle company. Uh, what's unique about it is that the motorcycles are built on a production platform but each one is designed to be able to be personalized uh, for each customer. When uh, CD Projekt Red approached me about doing Cyberpunk 2077, they also spoke about integrating, they were fans of, uh, or I guess people who worked at the company were fans of uh, Arch Motorcycle, and so, they broached the idea of creating kind of specialized Cyberpunk 2077 version of the Arch Motorcycle. And I thought that was a very fine idea. We have a motorcycle we've, we've designed and we've been developing called the Method 143. And so that, I think in particular, was, was um, a creative inspiration for the designers, so they sort of used that as a basis and then went further. So it has a totally different, crazy looking power plant. Okay. We did a little cut. It's good, <laughs> I like it. Today we're capturing sounds, getting some actual sounds of a power plant, drivetrain, and characteristics of the motorcycle, which I'm sure they will, you know, have play with and stuff, but the source will be pure. has a sort of a racing engine in it compared to our production motorcycles. It has a, a dual exhaust system and it sounds pretty... <laughs> <laughs> sounds good. I could definitely blindfolded tell that that's the Method 143-ish sounding motorcycle, yeah.
nature of the role-playing aspect of the game. I think it'll be cool like to be on a bike and hearing that going through the city streets and getting into the madness and mayhem. What do you want? Supercar? Big house? You want to rule this city? Well, you ain't getting anywhere without an upgrade. You need a softer touch, stronger spine. Just taking over Night City ain't gonna be easy. 